Dear second secondary students, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to a new lesson of English which is entitled Achievements and Goals. Reading. Read the article and answer the questions. A passion for apples. Andy Robson, who is still a teenager, is the president of Green and Red, a small but successful apple juice business in Maine. What's incredible is that Andy was only eight years old when he started selling apple juice outside his home in Auburn, where he still lives with his family. Andy adapted a 1920th recipe from his grandmother, but he added honey to the juice to make it a little different from his grandmother's. He decided to add honey because he is passionate about helping bees and wants to help protect them. His company now donates 15% of its profits to bee conservation groups fighting to save the honey bee. Andy, whose picture is on every bottle of apple juice, has become very well known in Maine. And green and red, which has been sold in a range of shops across Maine for years, is now selling in some restaurants and is very popular. But that's not all. Andy has started his charity with Jessica Webb, whom he met at school. Jessica keeps her bees and is also a young entrepreneur. She sells her honey locally. The two teenagers want to teach children how to look after bees and become an entrepreneur. They plan to go into schools and share their experiences, as well as educating the children about the importance of bees and why we need to look after them. Now look at the highlighted words in the text and answer the questions. Which word do we use to refer to people? The answer will be, it's the word who. Number two, which words do we use to refer to things or places? The answer, the word which. Number three, which word do we use to refer to position? It's the word whose. Number four, which word do we use to refer to places? It's the word where. Now answer these questions. What is green and red? The answer, it's a small but successful apple juice business in Maine. Number two, what are bee conservation groups trying to do? They are trying to save the honey bee. Number three, what can you see on green and red bottles? The answer, the picture of Andy is on the bottles. Number four, where can you buy green and red apple juice? The answer, it has been sold in range of shops across Maine for years, is now selling in some restaurants. Language. Our lesson today is about defining relative clauses. We use defining relative clauses to give essential information about something or someone. We must use a relative pronoun like who, whom, which, that to introduce a defining relative clause if we are defining the subject. In determining relative clauses, we can replace who, whom, and which. For example, when I say Andy is a teenager who started his own apple juice company, the relative clause here is who. Another example, bees are small insects 
which or that make honey. The relative clause here is which. We use which to say about things. The first example we used who because we are talking about people. We can leave out the relative pronoun if it is defining the object. For example, Andy adapted a 1920s recipe that he got from his grandmother. Now let's talk about the non-defining relative clauses. We use non-defining relative clauses to give extra information about something or someone. It's not essential information. We can't use that to replace who, whom, or which. We must use a relative pronoun in a non-defining relative clause. We use commas in non-defining relative clauses. We have to use the comma. For example, when I say Andy, look here we have a comma. Andy, whose photo is on every bottle of red and green, is still young. Another example, Jessica, Andy, met at school, is also a teenager. Here also we have to use the comma. Now let's answer some questions. Number one, complete the defining relative clauses with who, which, whose, whom, or where. Number one, this is the garden space I met Sarah. Which defining relative clause that we are going to use here? We will use where because we are talking about a place, the garden. Number two, an entrepreneur is someone, space, starts their own business. Here we will use who because we are talking about a person. Number three, Auburn, Maine is the town, space, Andy Robson was born. The answer here will be where. We use where to talk about places. Number four, we need to buy food, space, is environmentally friendly. The answer will be which. We use which to talk about things. Number five, he is the boy, space, mother, took a prize. The answer will be whose mother. It's used when we talk about position. Number six, Fatima is the girl, space, I traveled with last summer. The answer will be whom. We use whom when we talk about the object. The girl here is the object, not subject. Question number two, read the text and complete the gaps with the words in the box. Who, which, when, whose, where, and whom. Cairo from a visitor's view. Cairo, number one, space, is the capital city of Egypt is a place that offers the visitors a wide range of experiences. Therefore, depending on number two, you talk to, they will give you a very different picture of the city. Last year was a time, number three, I decided to fit in as many different experiences as possible. So I visited Cairo. I was lucky enough to be invited by a friend. Number four, family lived there and wanted to show me everything the city had to offer. My friend Ferris with number five, I had shared a flat in my first year at university, traveled with me by train to the city. It was at the Ramses railway station. Number six, I had my first sight of the magnificent architecture 
the city has to offer. However, this wasn't the only surprise the city had for me. In my next blog post, I will tell you about all the beautiful people. 7. I will never forget and the places. Number 8. Will forever live in my memory. The answer here will be which. Because we are talking about undefining relative clause. We know that because we have comma at the beginning and the end of the sentence. Number two, depending on whom you talk to. We use whom here because we are talking about the object. Number three, when I decided. We use when when we talk about time. The beginning of this sentence, last year was a time when I decided to fit. So we used when. Number four, the answer will be whose. A friend whose family. We are talking about the family of this friend. So it's position. So we used whose. Number five, the answer will be whom. It's also the same. We talk about the object. So we used whom. Number six, the answer will be which. We use which to talk about things. For example, when I say it was at the Ramses railway station, which. Number seven, the answer here in number seven will be who. We use who to talk about people. For example, when I say, I will tell you about all the beautiful people who I will never forget. And the places, number eight will be which will forever live in my memory. Here we used the word which with places because we have a preposition which is in. So instead of where, we can use which plus in. Now we have come to the end of this lesson. Thank you and see you later in the next lesson.